I, I was 60 kilos. I, I, I lost 25 kilos and I cannot do move his hands, his head, just only watching, only my brain was survived. First of all, it was the uh, uh, biggest opportunity for us to play against the uh, uh, World Cup champions. Also, uh, I would say like that South Africa for me is like a second country. Uh, a long time ago, I was I spent uh, four months at uh, KwaZulu Natal Union uh, Rugby Union, and I like that country. And also for me personally, it was a big opportunity to play against uh, uh, Springboks with my team. And uh, a big, big shame because uh, second second game was cancelled because of that uh, COVID virus uh, pandemic situation. And that was a big shame for me. Next was... Uh, <laughs> Next was my uh, my positive uh, test, <laughs> and after was uh, hospital, morning side hospital, and after approximately twenty eight day, uh, days, I was at coma. <laughs> At that time, uh, with me was my uh, team doctor, Nutsa, and every day she was uh, with me, spending time with me. I, I know was uh, was a couple couple time was a situation when doctors uh, said uh, Nutsa just no no idea after tomorrow he cannot survive and just see him just say goodbye or like that and it was very bad day for bad days for Nutsa because it's so the difficult you know when when uh, when she was watched on me and day by day I was worse than the worst situation and every doctor just uh, said you know just it's it's miracle you you survived they just giving me one or two percent of for life, you know, day by day, for for me it was uh, like a battle against something, and uh, day by day I was just uh, fighting for everything, uh, just uh, show for everyone, for doctors, for myself, for for my uh, family, for for our union. Just I can I can do that, you know, just. Every day, every human, when uh, when every day you wake up, you have to like a watch and say thanks, God, <laughs> because only only God uh, can uh, uh, do that. What was for me. When we had our first meeting, our first question was uh, uh, with the players, just, can we beat Italy? Just, it was my first question, because I don't want just even one person who is thinking we cannot beat Italy, just say, just, just say who is thinking we can beat Italy. And everyone's answer was, yes, we can beat Italy. Everyone uh, worked very hard and everyone was very uh, motivated. Uh, we were very aggressive at, at, at tackle, at, at our defense. 
and uh, our plan for uh, for counterattack was uh, very clear for boys and we scored two tries from counterattack when everyone are thinking in in uh, one uh, is a one person on, on the focus on that target and chasing on that target that's uh, i think is the biggest uh, the biggest thing also supporters and on the stadium was amazing situ situation atmosphere some something different you know for us that also was the biggest point for us, how supporters have supported us. It's uh, one of the, one of the uh, historical uh, day for, not, for uh, not only for uh, Georgian rugby, uh, for Georgia. It's like uh, we'll write in our history with uh, with gold, uh, golden I, letters. What? Golden letters. Letters, yeah, with golden letters. So my, sorry, my English not so. <laughs> yeah, with golden letters. No. Yeah.